Hi, um, I'm Charlie Barnes. I'm from Seguin, Texas. I'm a fourth and a half year here at UT studying uh, math and math education. Okay, so I think I was probably a junior in high school and uh, I went to go meet my girlfriend's family for the first time. And my girlfriend's older sister's ex-boyfriend was there. And I had just done my first triathlon and the guy comes up to me and is like, oh hey, I hear you're in the cycling. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I just did my first triathlon. And this guy's like, oh, I just got back from Alaska. I rode my bike there. And uh, he showed me this cool picture of him holding his bike up over his head at the, you know, welcome to Alaska sign in the backdrop. And uh, he showed me up so bad that I decided that I was like, man, I gotta try to do that. And uh, more and more as I had been here at UT, just like, this is something I really have to do. Yeah, it's probably strange for someone like me to say this as someone who's into math and, and into teaching, but um, I think that as a Texas 4000 writer, the answer has to be hope. Um, you, I think all of us have gotten into this organization and probably at least once asked ourselves, like, what is actually the point of getting on your bike and riding it to Alaska? I mean, we can say that we're a great nonprofit organization because, you know, so much more of what is donated to us actually goes to cancer research. But what, what does riding bikes have to do with that? Why can't we just be this really efficient organization that really does well by its donors? Um, and I think that the reason for that is because what we do inspires hope. What we do inspires people who wouldn't ordinarily donate their money to other cancer fighting organizations actually are really inspired by what we do, by having 90 people get on their bikes and ride to Alaska. And I think that as Texas 4000 riders, we all have to believe that the hope that we inspire begets charity and the charity that we receive begets knowledge, which I think is the end goal for all of us. Everyone in this organization is a stand-up individual. Um, we all are extremely busy, are extremely involved, and are motivated to get a lot of things done. Um, this semester I started student teaching. Um, I substitute when classes are empty. I have an internship, I'm writing my thesis, I'm taking self-paced courses. Uh, you know, like, where does Texas 4000 fit into all this? But it does. And when I show up at the meetings, my life's no longer busy and hectic and all about checking things off my to-do list. It's listening to people whose stories actually matter. And I think that whenever I sit in on those Texas 4000 meetings, it really puts my life into perspective. And I can prioritize like what the most important things are in my life at this point better than I could without this organization.